Hey everybody, this is Tim from the LV with today's shot of Self Confidence Expresso filming from the woods in the northeastern part of the US where fall is knocking on the door. It's about 80 degrees, the sun is shining and I wish you could be here because the leaves are just starting to pop out and it is an absolutely perfect late summer day. Good news is, is that fall is knocking on the door, my favorite time of year. Uh, and uh, I'm just jacked about that because I love the cooler weather and the autumn and everything that it brings from now until the end of the year. Just absolute magnificence as far as I'm concerned. I love it and I can't get enough of it. Every part of the year could be like this. So what I want to share with you today is probably the single most powerful tool I've ever learned in helping you get to where you want to get to from a goal, vision, success perspective, helping you become who you want to become, do what you want to do and achieve what you want to achieve. Um, it's what I've practiced up to this point, and if I could only practice one behavior uh, as regarding self-development, this would be it. I continue to do this to this day. I uh, have updated it, but I continue to do this to this day, and I will continue to do this uh, until the day I die. And I'm absolutely sold that this is pure gold, so I want to share it with you. So what I want to talk to you today about is the golden window. And the golden window is the period of time after you wake up in the morning until you start to engage in your activities for the day. And some people call it a morning ritual, some people call it a morning routine, some people call it devotions, it's different for everybody. But if you structure this and practice this, it absolutely is like adding nitrous oxide to your gas tank and will just light you on fire and propel you quicker and more effectively than anything else that I've ever experienced. And I've looked at and seen that and practiced a lot of things. So. Usually what my golden window looks like is I'm up typically between two and three in the morning every morning. I've got my grind on every day. I've got so much going on. I don't have time to waste. And least of all, do I want to sacrifice this particular time because this is probably the most important thing I do every single day. And I'd be willing to trade almost anything else uh, rather than give this up. So like I said, I'm up between two and three in the morning. And then for the next hour or so, I go through a couple different things that help me set my day with intention. And in doing that, it helps me set, uh, it flows into my weeks and my months and my years and pretty soon starts to build my life exactly to where I want it to go. And it consists of a couple parts. The first part is when I wake up, I go through a list of things that I'm thankful for. Things that I'm thankful for for that day, things that I'm thankful for the previous day, things that I'm thankful for, period. Because when you focus on what you're grateful for, more of what you are grateful for shows up. And when you're content and feasting on the things that you're grateful for, anything else that comes into your life is extra and you never ever end up living from a point of scarcity because you are always satisfied and content with where you're at. So I run through a long list of thanks. Second thing I do is I have a couple things uh, that are important to me that I practice every day and that I live out. The first thing is to live every day excited, excited to be alive, excited about life, excited that life is gonna produce its best. Second intention I have is that I expect the best out of every day. I expect the best from my relationships and my finances and my workouts and whatever I'm engaged in, career, speaking, teaching, coaching, doesn't matter, I expect the best. Third thing is, is I look to make an impact and a contribution, greater and greater every day, but that's part of my intention for the day. And finally, I intend to live out the vision I have for myself as if it was true now. And I go through these thanks uh, exercises and I go through this intention out loud. I say it to myself and I say it out loud every single morning. After that's done, I then back that up with prayer. I pray for myself, my family, I pray for you guys. There's a whole list of uh, folks that I pray for and things that I pray for that are important to me. After that's done, I go through uh, a set of confessions over particular Bible verses that are important to me and I confess scripture verses over my life and the lives of people that are important to me and I speak it as if it's true now, all the time saying this out loud. And then finally, the last component of this is I start to give thanks for the things that I'm trying to achieve but haven't gotten to yet. So in other words, right now I'm learning how to ice skate and play ice hockey. And every morning, part of this long list of things is, I'm thankful that I know how to play ice hockey. I'm thankful that I'm a great skater. I'm thankful that I play well. I'm thankful that I'm competitive. I'm thankful that I can play with anybody on the ice. Because what we talk about comes about. And if you start to be grateful for the things you haven't yet received, and you start to talk about them in the positive and the affirmative, 
it expedites their entrance into your life because our words have power. And that's why this morning ritual is so important that you find a place, you get by yourself and you just start to talk to yourself out loud. And you can construct your morning ritual into anything you want it to be. That particular morning ritual is mine. It usually takes me an hour to go through it. I also typically go through it while I'm walking because what I found is when you're walking or when you're moving, not only are you saying these things and reinforcing your subconscious uh, through your thoughts and your emotions and your words, but you're also embedding it into your physiology. Now, when I started this, I only started out five or 10 minutes a day, but gradually, as I saw it become more and more effective, it became 15 minutes, then 30 minutes, then 40 minutes. Now I'm up to an hour or better. There's other things I do in addition to this, like visualize and meditate, and then I'll get a morning workout in. But by taking those fundamental pieces, running through my list of things I'm grateful for, setting my intentions for the day, two or three things, praying for the folks that are important to me, confessing you know, the word over folks every day, and then being thankful for and affirming the things that I'm looking to do and become and achieve before they happen, as if they've already occurred and stating them out loud, I am setting myself up for a maximum degree of success. I'm setting my mind, my emotions, and my body in alignment with the things that I want, who I wanna be, and where I wanna go, and that then seems to carry out throughout the course of the day. Don't ask me how it happens, because I can't explain it to you. All I can explain it to you is that it works. And a great resource to look at for this is Tony Robbins' Hour of Power. If you jump on YouTube and you pick up Tony Robbins' Hour of Power, he does a much better job of explaining this. Now, I was practicing this before I got a hold of Tony's work, but Tony gives so much clarity uh, and uh, insight into this that if this is something that you think you want to grab hold of, I would encourage you to check his work out. Start to practice it. Start five or ten minutes a day. If you can't do it walking or in bed, do it in your car on the way to work. But make sure that you take advantage of those first few moments in the day because they are critical. Make sure it's positive. Make sure it's in alignment with who you want to be, what you want to do, what you want, and where you want to go. Say it out loud if you can because that supercharges it. To triple supercharge it, get it into your physiology and say it while you're walking or while you're working out and commit to it. Commit to doing it for 90 days and I guarantee you, you will be different on the back end of that 90 days. So the golden hour, the golden window is available to you every day. Are you going to use it? Hope you found this helpful. I believe that you will. This is Tim from the LV reminding that you that your life is a tour de force. Live it that way. Keep killing it. Practice that golden hour, put it into place, customize it, build it however you want to, with whatever you want to, and you will see it works, and it works big time. Your life is a tour de force. Live it that way. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon.